Hello there home learning agents, it's Adrian Yates here back at HQ. I've got another app tutorial for you today. It's a fantastic storytelling app uh, that has been developed by Google. It's absolutely free and it's called Toontastic. The logo looks like this and uh, you should be able to get it in your app store. It's really good, I'm going to go step by step through it, but essentially you're able to make your own animated 3D stories uh, in, in using your own voice and uh, you can use the different characters like puppets within the app. Brilliant one for storytelling at home. You can either do it by yourself or you can encourage your mums, dads, other family members to come and be additional actors in your films. So this is the app guys. Um, it's an absolutely brilliant storytelling app. There's no age uh, range on the app, but I think probably uh, Key stage one and year R and years three and four will really enjoy using this. Five and six, I think you'll have a good time too and you'll just add that to the um, arsenal of different fantastic computer skills you've got to present your work. So you come to this home screen and you have um, a new project button. Then you get to select which type of story you want to create. Um, there's some brilliant ones. I think the classic story mountain is probably uh, the best one to really get into depth of telling a story. Again, year R and year one, you might want to start with a short story. Everyone else had to say, let's go classic story up. Um, I'll show a short story just for today, just so it's nice and easy. So when you get to your short story, it'll show you the story mountain. Um, and you'll need to plan each of these features in your story. So beginning, middle and end in this very simple short story. So you hit on beginning and it will give you a video clip beginning, where it talks about what a beginning should have. And the setting of your story. So introducing the characters and setting and then it allows you to pick from their interactive setting scenes. Um, I'm going to start my story today in a classroom. So I have this interactive scene and then it gives me a selection of characters that I can use in this story. Uh, I'm going to place Neil in there for now and if I wanted to I could also draw my own character. Um, so let me just very quickly draw a lovely character. I'm sure yours will be much better than this given a bit of time. teacher in the classroom uh, and again you'll want to draw a much more detailed body than the one I'm about to do but here we go that's my character it then uh, builds that drawing that you've done uh, of your character into a 3d profile and you can make the character wider less wide and then press finish um, share. That's so now it's my bank of characters that I can always use. And let's put in a third character for now. Let's have Zax. Again, you can edit any of these characters. So you can change what they're wearing or the way they look. So if I wanted her to have uh, an orange dress instead, I could do that. Um, and then I can also give it a different name. So if it was based on somebody or if I've already come up with my own character name for a story. Uh, let's go Susan for this character. Um, and I can have her in my story instead. There we go. Then I press on this next button and it will drop the characters into the scene. I can move these characters around for where I want their starting places to be. If I just swipe around the screen, you can see that it's quite a large scene. Many parts of the scene are interactive, so when you press on things, um, they'll do things for you. So this goes right outside into the playground to start with. You can go through this sort of uh, locker changing room. There's a cafeteria a bit downstairs, a ladder up the side of the building onto the roof. Um, loads of different things here. And again, if I press on things like this skeleton, he starts to move. If I press on the blinds, they'll raise. So I can use that as part of my story if I want to. Um, and we're still dancing my skeleton there. So I might start with my main character down here at the bottom. Uh, I might have Susan waiting in class for her friend to arrive and the teacher writing on the blackboard. Now, I want to practice my scene out a couple of times to make sure that I've got it right, thinking about how I'm going to move my characters using one finger and move the scene using the other finger. Every time I tap on my characters, they'll do something a bit different. Uh, these guys dance. And um, while I'm moving them, for some of my characters, their mouths will move so that it'll look like they are speaking. So I can turn off those little dance moves. I think I'm ready to begin 
my story. When I am ready, I press start. Um, it will give me a countdown, and then it will record my voice into the actual story. Hmm. <laughs> hey Susan, how's it going? Ah, I've got something to tell you. We'll have to wait till class is over, but I've found something amazing. Uh, children, sit down. Class is about to begin. Wonderful acting, I'm sure you'll agree. Then it shows me the scene that I've recorded. And it will allow me to choose some music for the uh, background. Let me turn up my volume a bit for this so I can decide what sort of mood my story has. Probably hopeful for this one. And it builds that scene for me. Then I keep going, I put in my middle and I can change the setting if the I want. Middle where something happens, like a problem. Again, a little bit of a hint and tip for what you want to happen in that middle section. Uh, I can decide that they've gone by this point, they might have decided that the map they found led them to this uh, temple in the jungle. Again, I can put in the same characters, or I may not need the teacher this time, because these two have gone off exploring by themselves, and perhaps from this long character list I might put in a different character as well. Just like before, I can explore the scene, decide where to place my characters as an opening. Um, while I'm exploring the scene, thinking about what I'm going to use the scene for, I can press things to see what happens. Also, some fireballs there, a trap door, that's useful to know. Uh, some spikes, fine, it looks like there's treasure up at the top here. Oh, there's a boob trap there as well. Um, I then decide where my characters are going to start the scene, just like before. And then... When I'm ready, I rehearse my scene, moving the characters with one finger, or I can put a finger on each of my characters to move them at once, and then another swipe to move the screen, so it looks like they're walking across. Um, when I'm ready, I press start, and then I can record that scene. Over time, I'll be able to record each of those features, and what's brilliant is that this they can each have a different mood, different uh, soundtrack in the background, and then this app will put them together for you. It'll allow you to name the film, put in your director's name, and it'll build it into an, uh, your own mini film that you can save to your camera roll, that you can stream onto your TV. Uh, so you can create your own story, animated 3D story, and you can share it with friends and family um, and play that out for everybody. I really think this is a good one. I hope you enjoy using it. All the best.